Hey guys, welcome back to another Watch Me Work. Today I get to do Talia's nails. Hi Talia. Hey. What's up? What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I just can't, Ivory. I know, I know the well, struggle. Well, you know these ones, right? They slope down. Yeah. So when they get too long, I just nibble them off. And then I, this one, it was um, lifting from the free edge here, but mm -hmm. I, I use this for my car seat all the time. Mm, you don't have one of those buckles. Hey. I just got one. They're great. Yeah, I, I got know. two, one for each of our cars. I was when I was at the CNTC, I was gonna pick a bunch of those up for my new mom clients. Yeah. And I completely forgot, but I totally should have. So let's take care of these. What are we doing today? Glitter fade. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I knew that actually. I'm excited to use that glitter from the nail team, right? Yeah. Perfect. It's like my new favorite glitter. Yay, I'm excited. I feel like I should have waxed my knuckles before this. Why? <laughs> <laughs> It's so funny that I'm you so conscious about my knuckles. Okay, so you know it's funny that you say that though because you think that now because I'm filming your nails, but yet you do videos with your hands in <laughs> I know that's true. And you don't wax them. I'm surprised I haven't got a comment about it yet. If you leave this in, people are gonna comment about <laughs> my hairy knuckles now. <laughs> I'm totally gonna leave it in. Mm, I don't do this with the glitter fade too. I like that you do this. Do what? The pink. Oh. Instead of a clear base? Yeah, I don't know why I use... It makes a difference though. I just like pink base. This is fusion? This is, yeah. Yeah, I really, really like pink base. Um, I extend with pink base too. Oh, do you? Yeah. Can you pinch it? Yep. Have you tried to pinch it? Mm -mm. Yeah, I do. Go ahead. I've never used our pink base actually. Oh. There's going to be a comment. Why would... The other nail's shiny and these ones are <sighs> dull. Well, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> this glitter. Oh man, it's so amazing. I need this. So after I left your house, I went on their website and I like found so many that I loved. Okay, so tell, okay, I don't, I'm, see I'm confused of what I do. So when you do your glitter fade, you don't bring the color as far down the nail as I do, and I like that you don't do that. Hmm. I've and you also really don't throw your chunkies in when it's wet, so they don't like make the gel separate weird. Hmm. Which I've tried to do it that way, and I don't like it. I like when they separate weird, but <laughs> it's just funny, like two different ways of doing it. And of course. I'm gonna grab some more food. Sorry, I don't make hands Please right. do. God, I'm the worst client today. No, you're not. Just drop that pinky for Can me. Can you open this for me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, literally doing nails. Oh, can you, can you open my smoothie, please? Stop what you're doing and open this. <laughs> I told you I was a bad client. I love this tiny diamond. I do too. I've used it on like three or four clients last week, ever since I discovered that these pair so nicely together. Mm. Um, and I think that if I were to recommend like one of the diamonds, it might be this one. Yeah? Because big diamond I love, don't get me wrong, but you can make your own big diamond. Of course. Right? Um, and then normal diamond is just like an old stable, but this one I think is so versatile. I used to love pink diamond. I'm not so crazy about no, it anymore. it's not. Uh, it's not... Well, it's pink, but it's like it's like a weird matte. Like it's kind of chalky. I don't mm -hmm. know. It is nice though. Like I used it a lot when I first got it in. I think that was like one of my very, very first LE colors that I ever brought in. Really? Yeah. My, first one? my very, very first one was Disco. Go ahead. Um, I loved loved Disco. Either. Oh, see, I do this because I feel when I so if I pull like you do, it's smart. I feel like I get too much product. Yeah, maybe that's my problem. So yeah, I always just take the excess on my brush. There are so many different ways to achieve a glitter fade. Uh, you can pull the product up like Talia does. You can dab the excess off your brush like I do. Just play around, have fun, and um, I'm sure the outcome will be perfect. Thank you. 
Um, so do you want this really concentrated? Yes. Oh, see, this is where I need to go in with a little bit of this because it's just not sticky enough. This glitter. Is it not insane? I need it. I need to like order a pound of it. If you order some, order me another pack. Okay. Okay. I'll pay you for it and whatever. Yeah, it's beautiful. One of my favorite things about the Nail Team glitters is that um, they're all one color for the most part. Mm. So for me, doing something like this and throwing them like a bunch of chunkies in with a matching color, it works really well. Mm-hmm. Okay, so do you want it more? No, that'll be good. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Thank you. I also find it interesting that you use a brush to do this. It's so funny, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. I feel like I just can't get enough on my well, and when I do like tool. Um, nail art workshops, showing people how to do glitter fades and stuff, mm -hmm. um, These, a lot of people struggle with the dotting tool. This is not focusing at all. Just too much going on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. Um, sorry, a lot of people. What? Sorry, struggle with the dotting yeah, tool to get enough glitter on. Yeah, I feel like. You either like use a dotting tool for like a lot of things or like you don't use it at all. I like love my dotting tool. I use it all the time. Wait till we get that top on there. My cuticles are bad. Oh, this is just what I wanted. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited that you're excited. I don't even know if they need a, oh, maybe they need a little bit of a fade color. What do you think we should use? Probably crystal again. I should have brought iridescent. Oh no, I don't have that. I think, cause I did this exact same set it's on a client last week. Back a little bit. Um, and I think I used iridescent. Do you have um, B in your bonnet? I do. You want to do that one? I feel like you might be a little too pink though. But... Do you have tiara? Yep. Okay, let's do tiara. The benefits of having a nail tech with you, right? Tell you what colors to yep. use. <laughs> no, the best is when you bring your own colors or you bring your own product. <laughs> You're like, I want this on my nails. I kept thinking today, I'm like, I should bring Tiny Diamond. I should bring it. I should bring it. Like, wait, she has it. Why am I like wanting to bring it? Go ahead. This color, are you serious? Like, I shouldn't even say color. This glitter is like. Right? I love it. Okay, we might have to do a nail like this on me next. Yeah. Not all though. But even if you did a full color with this, it would look Go so ahead. pretty. Yeah, it's so uh, good. I love it so much. It's better than what I thought it was going to be. What do you think? No, I think it'll be okay. Yeah? Yeah. Sometimes I forget because I think it is sort of blue based. But it's so sparkly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we were just discussing which glitter to use for the transition color. Any translucent, transparent glitter will be perfect. Uh, you just want to go from that kind of harsh, chunky line um, and fade it up just to kind of get like a seamless fade. See, now I, f you know what, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I have taken the color too far down on this. I was gonna say it's a lot on this down set. Down. Oh, it's fine. I'm don't sorry. Even, don't even worry about it. You're like, I love how you do this, and then I don't do it. But I mean, I also think that we're judging it too much without the clear because the clear makes like that tiara, it'll make it fade a lot. Like, you won't even see it as much. All finished filed. These are gonna be beautiful. I 
the camera doesn't even like capture how much glitter is in there. I love them. I had envisioned. Awesome. Just drop your pinky for me. Thank you. Sorry. No, it's just funny that when I do it, it's like I can feel it all the way up here. Do you want anything else? Nope. I'm loving the simplicity of a glitter fade. Like I love how it like goes with any of my outfits, but it grows out nice for video filming. Or do you just not want to sit with me long enough? No, so. that's not <laughs> I feel like whenever I have a lot going on in my life, I can't like more deal with like crazy nails. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like I just- I with my clients too. Like, do you notice that with your clients? My clients often will like get crazy, 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 and then simple, simple, yeah. simple. Yeah. It's like two extremes. Mm hmm. But I do find it depends on like what's going on in their life. Or if they've had like a really crazy set and they're just like, mm, no, I can't do this right now. Absolutely. I have noticed, I don't know if you've noticed this, but my client's going a lot simpler yeah. lately. Like just one color, glitter fade, um, baby boomer so many of my clients do baby boomers maybe that's because i love them so much and i push it i don't know <laughs> my clients do go with well what i'm wearing like i've done so many glitter fades since we you started doing them on me mm -hmm. um or if i'm wearing like really crazy nails and they'll be a little bit more adventurous it's like they see what i have and they're like yeah i think i want that do you know what else i notice is that i can honestly like if my client walks in and I don't know what color they want. I can look at what they're wearing and be like, I bet you they're going to choose this color. Yeah, it's so true. And I will point that out to my clients all the time. I'll be like, did you know that you chose the same color you're wearing or, you know, and it's just probably like what they're feeling at that time. Yeah. It's crazy. Sometimes I do that too. I'll look at if they're like, they don't know what they want. I'll look at what they're wearing and mm -hmm. I'm like, that looks good on you. Let's yeah, I do too. I'm like, oh, do you want to do like this and this? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, oh, that matches your shirt. <laughs> yeah. That was easy. <laughs> Yeah, it's seriously beautiful. Yeah. Now, I, like, I know how hard this is for clients, but I'm like, move your hand a little bit, but not too much. Okay, so next video, you're gonna be back and you're not gonna have bitten nails. <laughs> or So that's my challenge to, to, to Talia. Let's see if she can do it. Not bite her nails. If not, she has to post a video every single day for a week. Oh God. <laughs> After I put lotion and cuticle oil on Talia's nails, I went in with LCN Super Shine. It really just shines up the nails and um, sometimes the lotion can dull them, so this just brings them back to life. The last clip that I had of Talia's nails, um, once the cuticle oil and lotion was on, uh, was just really, really fuzzy and it just didn't turn out. So here you can see actually, um, before we did the lotion and cuticle oil, how beautiful that glitter is. Um, if you don't own any glitter, um, I definitely recommend hit up the nail team, order as much as you can because this glitter is beautiful and you can put it in so many different designs. Thanks so much for being my wonderful nail model today, Talia. I loved having you and can't wait for our next visit.